disc of dough here. It's pretty thick. Um, but what I'm gonna do is take my rolling pin and I'm gonna flatten it just a little bit before we put it through here. I've got the sheeter set on the thickest setting, which is gonna be, uh, what, let's see, 20 millimeters. All right, so there's my dough disc. And it's probably best when I make my dough just to roll it at this thickness and then, you know, wrap these in saran wrap or press and seal or whatever you use. I'm gonna turn this on and I'll show you a picture over here on the side, but this is on the very top. Which I believe is 20 millimeters. And I'm gonna do it without parchment first. And then, there we go. That's the thickness. Let me bring this over here and I'm gonna measure it. A little more than half an inch. Okay, that's on the top notch. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna bring it down to the next notch and that is going to be um, 16 millimeters. I'm gonna run the same piece through to get it a little thinner. I'm gonna run it through this way this time. One more time. And there we go. That's just a little bit thinner uh, than the last pass. That's the next notch down, which is 16 millimeters. That's perfect. And I could even, you know, if I had this between parchment, I could even use a bigger disc of dough uh, to get more, more dough rolled out. Wow, look at that. That's nice. Nice and quick. Woo! Of course, in an ideal situation, I would be in my kitchen working on my big bar, but right now I'm just trying to catch this. I don't recommend that. And let's continue rolling this. I go down to the next notch, and I'm going to turn this back on. Still doing it without parchment. I like it with parchment, but boy, this way is pretty easy too. There's my disc of dough. I just have to be able to hold all of it. So the bigger your disc of dough, you're going to have to use parchment. One more time. All right, there we go. There's my cookie dough, ready to put on my cookie sheet and put it in the freezer for a little bit before I cut.